Time for tonight's rewrite. You know, I've always felt funny about guys who don't want you to know their first names. Are you with me on this? I mean, what else don't they want us to know about them? These guys are lying to you in the very first thing they say to you, like, Hi, I'm Mitt Romney. No, you're not. You're Willard Romney, Willard M. Romney. And then there's, Hi, I'm Rick Perry, and I'd like your vote for President of the United States. Well, yeah, I know you'd like my vote, but how about telling me your real name, which is actually James Richard Perry? That's right. The two front runners for the Republican nomination for president have rewritten their first names. Now, I, I think I know, I think you know, what Willard Romney doesn't like about his first name, but I've got no idea what James or Jim Perry doesn't like about his first name. I would love to have Jim as a first name. So simple, no confusion, anyone can spell it. That's, that's actually why I've been using Jim as my Starbucks name for years now. I'm Jim at Starbucks because I would never ask them to try to write an eight-letter name on my Starbucks cup. But everywhere else, I endure life with a first name that I don't really like because not using my first name just seems too phony to me. And I'm sure I'm not the only one who feels this way. Willard M. Romney is obviously afraid that his first name makes him sound like, you know, some kind of rich guy. He thinks Willard sounds too old-fashioned, too weird, maybe even too Mormon. But what Romney doesn't seem to understand is that American voters are very open-minded when it comes to first names. They've sent more than enough Georges and Johns to the White House, but they've also elected a Zachary, a Millard, a Ulysses, a Rutherford, a Chester, two Franklins, a Dwight, a Lyndon, not to mention... A Barack. So Willard should relax about his real first name. Unusual first names have never hurt anyone running for president. In fact, the three presidents who didn't use their first names went with middle names that were more unusual than their first names. Stephen Cleveland uses middle name Grover. Tom Wilson ran with his middle name Woodrow. And John Coolidge ran and won as Calvin Coolidge. So Willard Romney actually has a better chance of winning the presidency if he goes with his real first name instead of trying to hide it, like a con man or a cult leader. You know, like L. Ron Hubbard, whose real first name, of course, was Lafayette.